Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now once I have prepared the sol, I have to pre-purify it, right? Because without pure colloids, a lot of people do understand the properties of colloids, right? So it's good to have pure solids. Anything pure is always desirable. So there are three methods to pure uh, purify colloids. One is dialysis electrodialysis and ultrafiltration. So as I have told the, uh, the methods to prepare colloids which we have seen, the final colloids which we get has excessive amount of electrolytes and some impurities also. See, we'll show you that to preserve colloids we need some electrolytes. We'll show you in the next few slides. But excessive amount of electrolytes in a colloid leads to coagulation, it becomes unstable. As I have shown you in the hydro or lyophobic colloids, the moment you add some electrolytes, it coagulates. Similarly, the colloids need some electrolytes sometimes to preserve itself or to make it stable, but the excessive amount of electrolytes is not good for a collide. Thus, we need to remove the excessive amount of electrolytes and impurities from the collides to preserve it. Correct? So we'll use this, all these methods to remove the impurities and the excess amount of electrolytes from the colloids which is prepared. The first one was dialysis. So let's talk about dialysis now. So in this what happens is membranes are used. This is the hair membranes are used. This is my membrane. This is a membrane. So here these membranes are used. So what is the good thing about this membrane? See, if you talk about the size now, this is my colloidal particle, right? Their size is bigger than my electrolytes and their size is also bigger than the impurities, right? So colloidal particles are bigger electrolytes and impurities are smaller. So these membranes are having very small holes, animal membranes. In fact, sometimes artificial membranes are also used. These membranes have very small holes. These membranes will allow impurity to pass because impurities and the electrolytes are smaller in size. But the colloidal particles, the bigger ones, will not pass through. Correct? And if you see here, we are passing the fresh water and here we are getting impure water. So with that, I mean the concentration of impurity here is also going down. So if you don't do this, what happens is it reaches an equilibrium. All the impurities here and then salts here. So the more uh, impurity will not pass through. So we are using this uh, running water flow from here to here. This running water will take away all the impurities which is coming from the salt. The salt is taken in this kind of structure and this salt has this uh, membrane. This is a membrane. So this membrane, the black one which I just draw, drew, this membrane will allow only impurities to pass through because impurities are smaller. This membrane has small, small holes, right? So this membrane will allow only impurities to pass through and electrolytes to pass through, but will not allow the bigger colloidal particle to pass through. So with this, after some time, what will happen is all the impurities will pass through this membrane, colloidal particle will still be in this solution or in the sol and you will get pure colloidal solvent. Correct? Why? Because all these electrolytes and ions and they are smaller than the molecules. So with this you can actually filter. So this apparatus that is used to uh, purify a colloidal solution using dialysis method is called dialyzer. Right, so this is this nothing but the, a bag of suitable membrane. This whole thing is a bag actually. Actually, the whole thing is a membrane. This is a bag of suitable membrane. This contains this colloidal solution, which is suspended in the vessel through which a fresh water is continuously flowing. And the the molecules, the impurities, and the ions, they will diffuse through this membrane. But the colloidal particles will not diffuse, and you'll get pure colloidal solution. The next is electrodialysis, little better than this. 
see the impurities will by default not try to come out right the, if you provide some extra push it will be fast so the ordinary dialysis which we have just discussed is slow to make it fast what we can do is we, we can take the same thing it's all same apparatus i have this this is my uh, membrane this is the membrane into the membrane right everything is same this is water water flowing in what i'm doing here is i'm just applying electric field and one thing i know that my uh, particles right this electrolytes if you take any electrolytes the ability to explode electrolyte it will is nothing but na plus and cl minus right this electrolytes has charge so if if a particular collateral sol has a lot of electrolytes and you want to remove electrolytes fast right you can use the moment you like apply electric field for example in this case i have applied electric field this is a positive charge right so on this positive charge in this case let us assume it has electrolytes called nacl so the cl minus will be attracted on this side and na plus will be attracted on this side right so since they are attracted again this is again a semi permeable membrane so through this electrolyte can easily pass through so more and more electrolytes will pass through so with this the dialysis process will be faster and the impurities which are neutral they will anyway pass through this again through gravity this 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 is a newton will take care the gravitational force of attraction will take care of this by gravity they'll come now and more and more electrolytes will go in the left and right direction because of the electric field right this is all same same as dialysis but just to make fast and this is generally used it has more electrolytes impurities if you want to remove more electrolytes because the only thing we are doing is we are applying this electric field here right with that what is happening is electrolytes are coming out of this bag more faster the next process to purify colloids is ultra filtration see the normal filter paper which we have in the market has holes but these holes are pretty big right these holes are pretty big and the colloidal particles are small so these colloidal particles can easily pass through this hole right the normal filter paper paper which we get in the market the holes are big big for colloidal particle and they can easily pass through right colloidal particle can easily pass through the holes of this filter paper so what we can do is we can create a graded filter paper if we can create a graded filter paper where we can uh, make this hole smaller then they can actually use this filter paper see the only reason why we are not using normal filter paper to purify the colloidal solution is because the filter paper has a holes and these holes are bigger than the colloidal particle size so even the colloidal particle will pass through it doesn't make any sense so if somehow we can make this hole smaller then we can actually purify a colloidal particle also using this right so we can create something called graded filter so we can create something called graded filter paper for ultra filtration so what we do is we take this ordinary this is ordinary filter paper paper now we impregnate this with colloidal solution so we take some other colloidal solution and we impregnate this and we if you see after some time this becomes blue so we had this uh, normal filter paper normal filter paper we had dipped in this colloidal solution this is my colloidal solution and after some time it becomes blue right because we have impregnated with this and now we take this out and keep in sun for some time now with this i have got a better filter paper i'll say this as graded filter paper Now in this, the hole size are very very small, very very small. They had bigger hole size. They have very small hole size, right? The hole size is the pore size. The pore size is very very small. And these pore size, the colloidal particles will not be able to pass through. Will not be able to pass through. So with this, we can actually use this 
and this normal uh, filtration method but use this this kind of uh, filter paper here so this filter paper if you see is now ultra filter paper or graded filter paper now in this when you pass this uh, impure colloidal solution my colloidal particles will not be able to pass through only impurity will pass through impurity and electrolytes will also pass through because electrolytes are also smaller in size so small size particles that is impurity and electrolyte will pass through the colloidal particles will not pass through so whatever you get here is pure colloidal solution after some time and here you will collect impurity please note you won't get the pure solution here here because from this filter paper only the impurity will pass through the colloidal solution will be in this place only and here after some time you can collect this pure colloidal solution okay in normal filtration you get pure solution here but here it's other way around you get pure here here you get all the impurities so in this case if you see the catch is if you want to prepare if you want to control the size of this pores right the pores which we have created if you want to control the size of this pore you can actually control this by adjusting the solution percentage you take 4% solution or 5% so whatever solution you have dipped in right earlier if you see we have had this colloidal solution so we have dipped the whole thing in this colloidal solution right so if you dipped in 5% or 6% 10% so those solution concentration will determine the pore size so you can actually fix it right so in usual colloidal is uh, 4% solution of nitrocellulose in a mixture of alcohol and ether that is my usual colloidal that is taken for uh, impregnating the normal filter paper right so this ultra filter paper actually if you see it can be prepared by as i told soaking the filter paper in the colloidal solution and generally we also use the formaldehyde for hardening it and finally drying it so we also use formaldehyde for hardening it and we dry it and please note this, uh, this ultra purification is a very slow process very slow process if you want to make fast you can apply some pressure here if you apply some pressure here it may become fast you can actually some apply some pressure here with this it becomes fast okay and once again here is where you get the final pure uh, colloidal solution here you get impurity thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again